Good morning, beautiful people. It is about 7.07 .07 on September 30th, 2023. We're out here in beautiful, like, Summersville, Texas. I forget the name of the actual park. Uh, you know, Brenham, that, that area. Between Houston and Austin, basically. Anyway, and we're going to run the trailway, trail run, with Tasia Trails here. Uh, it's the marathon started at seven half marathon starts at 730. I guess there's a 50k that started at seven as well and a ruck and all this and then there's some shorter distances I think that start at eight so I gotta get my pack and stuff here ready to go and we'll get rolling. I don't know if you can see it but there's dragonflies all over the damn place. They're vicious little bastards if you get too close. Here's our race headquarters. Parking at this race is kind of a mess. Because most of the time you go past the thing and you're like, oh shit, and there's cars forever, so you have to either go around or turn around and park before it. So, did this race last year. Pretty fun. Bye. All right, we're about two miles in. So far, it's looked pretty much like this. It goes from hard packs to like roots, back and forth, winding its way through the brush, I guess. All right, I haven't run at all since that Kima thing couple of weeks ago. That occurs. I forgot to upload that video. It's telling my camera. Better do that. Alright. I'm gonna pass out. It's probably the worst hill so far. This is even a hill. In the low 70s when I got out of my car. So, let's see, at the end, what is this? All right, here we go. Just past five miles. This is four and five coming back. Number one was like a mile and a half ago, he was moving. <sighs> Holy, sorry for the shakiness. Humidity is awful. Right. 
is oh here's another one oh. all right here we go turn around about 7.1 Went in my pick here. So it's pretty flat. There's a few hills. Saw my friend. You know who you are. It's good to see you. Take a picture. So my pontification of the day. You'll see a lot of people walking and running hunched over pushes your lungs together. If you stand up straight, you can breathe in better. I gotta keep reminding myself. So. Pretty fun little race. Gotta take some go juice. Start running down the hill. Actually got recognized twice today. I've arrived, people. Someone said cool headband. I'm gonna assume he wasn't being sarcastic. Whoa. Giant bee. Alright, let's go. So we're at about 9.6. And I didn't notice it coming out, but ever since you came out of them hills, all the way to the damn aid station, it's a gradual hill. So, you're going downhill on the way out, and I'm sure you can see it. It's uphill on the way up, or back. I didn't even notice it. I thought I was doing good, but it's a little tougher on the way out, or the way back, than it was on the way out. So keep that in mind. I mean, it's obviously runnable if you're not old, fat, and out of shape like some of us. But something to keep in mind. You can see, it's all the way up into the woods over there. It's good. Two and a half more. Anyway, let's keep going. Okay, strike what I said about the wood line. We're about 10.75, <laughs> and it's still a damn uphill. Or 90% of the course. It's alright. Makes it interesting. Definitely did not notice the gray going out. So we're at about 11.4 here. And you come out of the woods at that aid station back there. Sorry for the sweat cam, there's not an inch of my damn clothes. The strided wiped off more. But there's a little pav uh, pavement section here that I probably should be running, but honestly, my butt's cramping my hamstring, so usually make it, but I get really sore from not training, you know. We'll have that when you turn 40. Alright. Here we go. All right, just hit 12. Knocker. I can hear the music playing. That's a good sign. Whew. Quit making it so I can get there. Around this curve here, about 12.4. You see the end over there. I remember thinking, oh man, it's just around this curve here. <laughs> I remember it taking like forever and a day to get there, like another mile or something. All right, start running before all these people catch me.
So it's about 12.85. Another girl was coming back on her second loop and recognized me. People like me. I've arrived, as I said. Let's get done. All right, before I forget, I watched it. 13.67 and 301.20. So, get back to the car and get changed and go about my day. Thought occurs though, I didn't bring any food for the ride home. Mainly because Lunchbox keeps eating my damn pretzels. So, you'll have that. It's a pretty day. Though. Nice little recreation area. Alright, car's over here somewhere. Alright, back in the car, got changed. So here's the shirt, pretty nice. It's kind of this nylon plasticky wicking material. Uh, good for the gym, I guess. Ah, here's the metal. Sorry, I'm half distracted. Pretty nice. It looks very similar to the one from last year. With the gnome. I guess I didn't get any footage of it, but all the awards were little, like, foot tall gnomes. <laughs> so that was cool. Uh, yeah, usually I put butt lube, I don't have it, it's in the trunk, but trail toes on my feet before I put my socks on in the morning, and I didn't do it today. Mistakes were made. If I had gone much farther, it would have been bad, but I think I got just a couple hot spots. I don't think I got any blisters, fortunately. Um, yeah, I gotta give this race five out of five Keanu's. It's great. Uh, volunteers were great. Nothing to complain about, really. Tasia Trails usually does an excellent job. Um, the half marathon's about where I need to be at right now. With zero training, I've kind of petered out right about 10 miles, which is still good for me, I guess. Um, I did walk like the last, most of the last two or three, which is fine. I mean, it's not bad. Um, it's very hard for me to get motivated to go on a second loop to do a marathon like that, uh, but it is what it is. Maybe next time. Although they have a 50k, so I almost did a 25k, but decided I didn't want to hurt myself because the extra two miles would do that. <laughs> um, Saw some friends. Um, the only thing, it's it's like the ending is lackluster. It's just kind of hand you a medal, take your chip, and there's like, that's it, you're done. Um, but that's that's cool. I mean, it's just a hang out for people. Uh, yeah. I don't really have anything else to say. It was a great race. You should definitely do it if you want to, if you're in the area beautiful area, beautiful park. Uh, I gotta check the elevation profile to see if I'm dreaming about it being a gradual downhill most of the way out, <laughs> climb back out to the finish. I think I probably dreamed it just because it kind of was hard, but we'll see. Um, I don't know when the next race is. I can't remember, I don't think it's next weekend. It might be the weekend after. Um, I can't remember which one it is. I think it's another 10K um, in Galveston. That bridge series, I forget, but we'll see. Um, 
I'm gonna go home, I'm gonna eat a couple of cookies and chips that I stole from the aid station, and yeah, go from there. My car says 88 right now, which is not bad. Actually, I, honestly, I felt hotter than that. But yeah. All right, well, I'm gonna eat something before I get sick, and we will see you next time. Remember, sweatbands are cool, keep it real, and thanks for watching.